everyone, thank you for joining me on your mat today. Um, today I wanted to share a full body strength flow with you. I like to take about 20 minutes before each morning on my mat to do some cardio and ab work, but sometimes you just don't have time for both. And there are a lot of ways that you can fit really strengthening, toning postures throughout your yoga flow every single day. So we're gonna do a quick full body workout yoga flow today. Um, so prepare your water, only go as far as you feel you can go, take breaks anytime you want, take modifications um, anytime you want, come back to child's pose, take it easy, but see how you go, maybe do this in the morning, just to wake your whole body up and get everything engaged and moving. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna start in child's pose just to stretch out the abs and the back, ready for the work we're gonna to do today. So keep your toes touching at the back of the mat, knees spread as wide as the, as the mat, and relax your bum back to your heels. Reach forward, spread your fingertips wide. And when you're ready, come up to all fours. Let's do a couple of cat cows. Inhale, look up, back arches. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine. Suck the navel into your spine. Inhale, look forward. Keep the pelvis and the head high. Exhale, round the spine, engage the core, push the floor away, and come back to neutral. Now tuck the toes and roll back onto your feet, and slowly come up to standing. We're going to start in chair pose, and it's going to engage our legs, and also engage the arms that we're going to be holding above us. So. When you're ready, toes come to touch or feet hip width apart, whatever you prefer. Keep your knees in line with one another and raise your arms, exhale, sit back into your chair. Make sure you're tucking in your lower ribs, you're creating this lovely line with your back and you're looking forward and reaching up, chest is shining outward. Let's hold this for a few breaths. Keep breathing deeply. And it'll really start burning all down your sides and it's a really nice engagement to get started with. Let's hold for a few more breaths. And exhale, fold forward. Step back into plank pose and instead of going straight into our back bends, we're going to hold this plank for a second. Spread your fingers wide, suck your core in, engage everything, make your neck neutral with the rest of your spine. And we're going to go into four chaturanga push-ups. Elbows close to the ribs and here we go. One, two, Three, last one, very good. Come into upward facing dog and push back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your dog. We're already feeling warm. Now inhale, raise your right leg high to the sky. We're going to Bring our right knee to our left elbow. So come down into plank and crunch elbow to knee for one. Inhale back up, two. Inhale back up, three. Inhale back up and this time all the way through into lunge position. We're only going to stay here for a minute and we're going to rock up into our warrior three. So put all your weight to your right leg and hover the left leg. 
When you're ready, when your hips are in line, you feel balanced, your left leg's engaged, toes pointing downwards, see if you can take your hands off the mat. Amazing. Now we're going to go into some warrior three kicks. So, come through to standing. Extend your leg for one. Back to warrior three. Extend, kick through. Two. Back to warrior three. Embrace the wobbles. Extend. Back to warrior three. This time, step it through. Come back to chair. Very good work. Let's hold our chair again. Tuck your ribs in. Engage the core, reaching up. Strong hands, fingers spread wide. And fold down. Let's step back into plank again. Hold that plank before we repeat on the other side. But remember we've got our chaturanga push-ups. One, two, three, and four. Come into your back bend. Take a deep breath. And it'll really start burning. Inhale, left leg comes high to the sky. And bring it through to your right elbow. One, crunch. Inhale, back up. Two, elbow to knee. Inhale, back up. Three, elbow to knee. Back up. And all the way through to your lunge. And we're ready to go into warrior three. So rock forward onto the left leg, hover the right leg high, engage it, hip square, and float your hands up to your heart space. And let's kick through. So come to standing, extend the front leg, and back to warrior three. Come up to standing, extend. Back through, well done guys, stay strong. Inhale, kick through, exhale, back to warrior three and step it back into your chair posture. Let's repeat our flow one more time on each side. So up into chair pose, hold here, looking forward, chest shining outward, weight mostly in your heels, see if you can pick up your toes, knees in line, hold, Keep breathing, and fold down, palms to the floor, step back plank pose. Ready for the chaturanga push-ups? One, two, three, four, come into your back bend, and push back into downward facing dog. Raise that right leg high to the sky. And get ready for our knee to elbow our crunches. Exhale, one. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, three. Inhale, straighten. Last one, step through. Let's hover straight away into warrior three. Palms up to your heart. And kick through, extend, one. Kick back. Kick through, two, warrior three. Kick again, back to warrior three and step right back into your chair. Last round on the left side. Keep breathing, keep engaging. See if you can sink a little bit deeper. Sink the hips lower and fold forward. Step back plank position, chaturanga push-ups, four, three, two, one, and back bend. Push it back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg comes high. Exhale, knee to elbow, one. 
Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Last extension, all the way through, straight up into warrior three. Hands hover. And kick through with your leg. One. Extend back. Two. Extend back. And three. Extend back to your lunge. And we're ready to go into warrior three. So rock forward onto the left leg, hover the right leg high, engage it, hip square and float your hands up to your heart space. And let's kick through. So come to standing, extend the front leg, and back to warrior three. Come up to standing, extend. Back through, well done guys, stay strong. Inhale, kick through. Exhale, back to warrior three, and step it back into your chair posture. Let's repeat our flow one more time on each side. So, up into chair pose. Hold here. Looking forward, chest shining outward. Weight mostly in your heels. See if you can pick up your toes. Knees in line. Hold. Keep breathing. And fold down, palms to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Ready for the chaturanga push-ups? One, two, three, four. Come into your back bend and push back into downward facing dog. Raise that right leg high to the sky and get ready for our knee to elbow our crunches. Exhale, one. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, three. Inhale, straighten. Last one, step through. Let's hover straight away into warrior three. Palms up to your heart. And kick through, extend. One, kick back. Kick through, two. Warrior three. Kick again, back to warrior three, and step right back into your chair. Last round on the left side. Keep breathing, keep engaging. See if you can sink a little bit deeper. Sink the hips lower and fold forward. Step back plank position. Chaturanga push-ups. Four, three, Two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going, keep those abs engaged. We're nearly there. Nearly finished. Very good. Last one. And come down nice and slow to the mat. Very nice work. Let's just take a moment here to catch our breath. Extend your arms above your head, point your toes and enjoy a full body stretch. Make sure you're still taking deep breaths. Hug your knees into your chest, rock side to side. And people think yoga is relaxing. <laughs> Let's take a supine twist. Extend the left leg down, keep the right leg hugged into your chest. Move your hips slightly to the right, ready to take your knee to the floor on the left side. Extend out the right arm and look towards your right fingertips. Really nice stretch for the back after we've just worked our abs. Deep breaths. Come back to centre. Swap sides. Left knee hugged towards the chest, right leg extending. Ready to take that knee over to the right hand side. 
of the mat, extend the left fingertips and look over towards the opposite hand. Breathe into your back, feel the sensations throughout your body, feel strong for what you did today. We've got one last position which is completely optional. If inversions are in your practice, then headstands are a really, really good full body engager and I find really good for the abs and shoulders and everything. So let's get ready if you are coming into headstand. If you want to practice against a wall, if you're not quite yet there yet, I recommend doing that first. If you are here, move your high ponytail out of the way. Come with your fingers interlaced to the floor and that will just be additional support at the back of your head. You want to get the crown of your head down to the floor. Shoulders nicely supporting you and come up high onto the tippy toes. One leg at a time. Stacking over your hips and extend fully into Shatasana, headstand pose. This pose is called the king of asanas because it really does engage everything. And you can take some fun variations here. And a real core cool challenge is to come down Nice and slow. Back to child's pose. And enjoy this lovely hip opening, relaxing stretch after everything we've done with our bodies this morning. Deep breaths. Slowly walking those fingertips back to your body, coming up to a comfortable seated position. Taking some deep breaths, palms above your head, exhale, bring them down to your heart space. One more of those, inhale up, exhale, palms to the heart and bow down in honour of what your body is capable of, your strong, amazing body. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. I hope you enjoyed this full body toning yoga workout. Feel free to bring any of the exercises into your flow to add some full body toning every single morning on your mat. Namaste.